We can decide if we wish to include the previously created assemblies, bolts, or reinforcing bars in the exported IFC file. Merging the structural model to ARCHICAD. Let's switch to ARCHICAD and merge the structural model to the architectural project. The IFC file received from Tecla Structures can be opened as a new project or can be merged into a running architectural project. Let's see how the architects can merge the structural IFC model to their own running project. Set the file type to IFC compressed file and browse for the IFC file created by the structural engineer. At the translator, specify the data exchange with Tecla Structures translator file. Let's open the settings dialog of this translator to briefly review its characteristics. At the import options page of the translator setup dialog, we can define the layers we wish to use when merging the structural elements. The default settings of the selected translator add the Tecla extension to the layer names where we merge the structural elements. By default, the layers are locked to be protected against further accidental changes. We can also use custom material conversion tables when merging the structural elements. The conversion table dialog displays how the materials defined in Tecla structures will be converted to ARCHICAD fill types by default. Of course, the conversion table can be edited and customized for our current ARCHICAD project. Let's continue the merging process by clicking Open. The model filter dialog will be displayed automatically. Here we can filter the imported structural model. For instance, with columns, we can filter the column types we wish to merge to the project and so on. We will merge all elements and element types in our case. ARCHICAD will merge the structural elements. Let's have a look at the results in the 3D window. Let's open the Layer Settings dialog. We will display all architectural elements in wireframe mode and all imported structural elements located on the locked layer with the Tecla extension in shaded mode. Let's have a closer look at the entrance atrium which was created in Tecla structures. As you can see, the horizontal steel beam is an IPE200 standard section. The vertical steel column is the modified HEB200 profile, as we defined in Tecla structures. Please note that all the steel structural details and components are clearly visible in ARCHICAD. The material specifications are also correctly merged with the structural design. Let's select the concrete wall panel. Open its settings dialog. Please note that due to the previously defined material conversion, the name of the structural material corresponds to the material name defined in Tecla structures, but the cut fill of this material has changed to the ARCHICAD fill, as defined at the material conversion dialog. Let's make the reinforced concrete structures transparent for now, so that we can have a close look at the reinforcing bars created in Tecla structures. Let's display the entrance atrium in a section view in ARCHICAD. Let's display the previously merged structural design as a trace reference in this section view. We can change the color of the traced elements if we wish. ARCHICAD's virtual trace features enable designers to simultaneously view and visually compare elements of the active and traced views. In this way, even the smallest differences can be easily spotted and quickly identified. Here we can see the architectural model as the active view and the merged structural design as the traced view. Tracking changes. Let's briefly explore how the architect and the structural engineer can identify and manage changes in the different design models. First, the architect will modify the design in ARCHICAD. Let's delete the middle steel beam and column at the entrance atrium. 
We will also modify the position of the next steel frame. We will drag both the steel column and beam 1,500 millimeters. Finally, we will export the updated architectural design as an IFC database and send it to the structural engineer. Let's switch to Tecla structures now. The structural engineer can compare the new and old versions of the architectural model. The engineers can insert the changed architectural model as a reference into the running structural project, as introduced earlier. Let's browse for the new IFC file and place it into the structural project. The newly imported elements are shown in dark colors. Now let's browse for the IFC file representing the latest stage of the design and compare this with the previous stage. At the Change Detection page of the Reference Model Properties dialog, we have various options. From a drop-down list, we can select what to display on the screen regarding the results of the comparison. We can select to show only the new file or the old file, or display the unchanged, changed, deleted, or inserted new elements. Now we will display only the deleted elements first. As you can see, only the middle steel frame is now displayed on the screen, which was deleted by the architect earlier. Let's display the changed elements now. As you can see, the other steel frame that was moved by the architect is now displayed. Finally, let's display the new file, only to see how the updated architectural design looks. Let's continue and update the structural design based on the inserted architectural reference model that displays the latest design stage. First, we will delete the middle steel frame in the structural model. Then, we will modify the position of the other steel frame. The new position of this frame will be based on the frame in the architectural reference model. Finally, we will also place a new horizontal steel beam in the structural project as a suggestion to give the correct stiffness of the modified state. We will select, for example, a Eurocode standard HEA600 steel profile from the database. The new horizontal steel beam will be placed at the junction of the existing steel columns and beams. Let's now export the updated structural design in IFC file format and send it to the architect. Let's switch to ARCHICAD now and see how the architect can manage the structural design changes. We will activate now the file, file special, IFC 2x3, detect IFC model changes, menu command. The IFC change detection wizard will guide us through the necessary steps. First, we have to specify the old version of the structural model. Then, we also have to specify the new version of the structural model. We can define the elements we wish to compare in the change detection process. For now, we will compare all element types. As you can see, ARCHICAD already displays the number of new, modified, and deleted elements prior to merging the IFC model changes to just the current architectural project. Here we can also specify layers we wish to use to merge the compared version elements. Finally, we can click the Merge button to proceed. In just a few seconds, ARCHICAD will merge only the changes of the IFC model versions and display the Markup Tools palette. This palette already lists all the model changes with color codes. Let's select the first entry in the markup list. This is a new element and it's identified in blue. We can zoom in to this element. As you can see, this is the horizontal steel beam created earlier by the structural engineer. Let's select the second deleted element indicated in red. This is the middle steel column which has been deleted from the project. Let's delete this markup entry. 
ARCHICAD will offer to delete the corresponding elements with the markup entry. Let's select and delete the next markup entry, representing the deleted middle steel beam. Let's select the next modified steel column elements, shown in green. Let's zoom in and select these modified columns. When we hover the mouse over the selected columns, ARCHICAD will display the layer of the selected element in the Info tag. The column placed on the IFC imported old layer represents the previous position of the column. The column placed on the IFC imported new displays the new position of the column. Based on this information, we can decide on the next design steps. As you can see, Graphisoft ARCHICAD and Tecla structures provide a complete, integrated, best-in-class design workflow. ARCHICAD and Tecla structures together bridge the different requirements for the BIM models of architects and engineers and realizes the open BIM approach for this practice, greatly broadening designers' options for real integrated project delivery. Reference Projects Let's briefly overview some actual projects where architects and engineers implemented this IFC-based Open BIM collaboration design workflow in their architecture practice. The Panorama Tower Office Center has been designed by Larkas and Lane Architects and realized in Espoo, a city close to Helsinki, Finland. The office center consists of three building masses that are connected to each other. The total floor area is over 22,000 square meters. That's over 235,000 square feet. Here you can see some photos of the realized tower. Here you can see the Tecla Structures model of the Panorama Tower on the left. This 3D model presents the precast and steel structural elements. On the right side, you can see the architectural design model created in Graphisoft ARCHICAD. This project model presents all the architectural elements and aspects of the tower. Both are true BIM models, including a very high level of detail about the information they present. Here you can see the combined architectural and structural building information as one single model file. It's important to emphasize that even though both architectural and structural models contain a high level of detail, the file size of the model remains small and therefore very manageable as one single project file. Let's take a very quick look at some other projects as well. All these projects have been designed by other architectural and engineering teams, but they all share some common aspects. The architects use Graphisoft ARCHICAD to create and develop the architectural design, and the structural engineers used Tecla structures to create the structural schemes. The architectural and structural teams implemented the previously described IFC-based Open BIM collaboration workflow. Virumaki Congress Center is located next to Finland's largest sports academy. The center hosts over 400,000 people per year. Piru provided the design development as a Piru integrated design and delivery service from the early sketches to the full BIM model. The total time from planning to ready building on site took less than 18 months. The in house merged model served as essential aid for multidiscipline design coordination. Finland's pavilion for the Shanghai World Expo 2010 is called Kirnu or Giant's Kettle. The Kirnu Pavilion is a laboratory for sustainable building, presenting finished solutions for future urban construction. The construction materials and methods have been selected so that construction generates as few greenhouse gas emissions as possible, and the building will be easy to disassemble and rebuild after the expo. We hope that you found this presentation useful and that you'll share the opinion of architects and engineers. Open BIM collaboration is the future of the AEC industry. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation.